Hi everybody, it's Nancy with Icon Apprentice and thanks for joining me again. Hopefully this will finish up our Icon Guardian Angel and today what we're going to be doing we will be uh, outlining the flesh, we will be reinstating some of the dark areas in the hair, I'll do a, a wash just to pull this yellow down just a little bit and we'll outline the hair. We'll put in her halo, we'll put in the letters Guardian Angel, and we'll put a small border on the outside. And then we'll be ready to varnish and finish our icon. As always, we, when we paint or write our icon, we do so by bringing the intentions and prayers of our hearts and manifesting those into each brush stroke during our writing of the icon. So let us begin with our prayer. Let's begin by reinstating some of the dark uh, highlights, the dark areas of the hair. And we're going to be doing that by using a little bit of brown earth just to reinstate some of those darker areas. We got a little bit light um, with our burnt sienna and then our gold oxide and Turner's yellow. So let's just take a dab of this brown earth on our plate. I'm going to use my larger brush just to mix this up a little bit. And we're not going to be using this larger brush. It's just easier to mix the paint and the water with it. And that looks pretty good. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to my liner brush. And I'm just going to come in here and using my color reference copy, I'm um, looking to come back in and reinstate. You can see some of these little swirly lines. Those are the lines that I'm talking about. So it's not going to be anything really drastic, but it's going to give some depth and dimension to the hair. As always, we twirl our brush to try to give that nice point on the end of our brush.
I think we're ready to outline the hair. And then what I'm going to do for the outline, uh, we will take this brown earth, put just a little bit of a uh, touch of black in it, and we'll outline the hair. Even that was almost too much. That's pretty dark. Okay, <clears throat> so I actually added that black to that brown earth and it was really, it was too much. So, come back in here, I think that's a better color. Remember when we use our liner brush, we almost want it to be an inky consistency so that it flows nicely from the tip of our brush and we will go in and we will reinstate these lines around the hair we're just outlining everything Okay. Let's outline the flush. And we're going to use our halo red. And this is a color that is mixed. And I will have the formula for it in the description box. 
We don't need a whole lot just yet. So we'll do the flesh outline. We'll also use the halo red for the lettering. So we'll outline the flesh and we'll, we'll do our um, lettering. So since the lettering's at the top, let's do that first. That way we're not coming back and smearing it like I did with the hair. A little bit of flow medium here. Using our liner brush. Just trying not to, trying not to touch the hair here if I can. Alright, flesh outline. So what we're going to do is we will outline the nose. There's a line right under the eyes. There is a line right in the crease of the eye, right here. See that there? right in the center of this outline the ear Outline the lips. The chin. And then any flesh that comes in front of the hair. And that is only this very small portion right over here.
And that is all of our flesh outline. That was not too bad, was it? Okay. Touch this up just a tiny bit. That seems like it goes too far out there. There we go. I just shortened up that lip just a tiny bit. It was just too far out. All right. And then let's go ahead then and we will put her halo in. For the halo, we're going to be using uh, Naples Yellow Hue, being the largest brush that I have, which is a number six. And I'm going to be laying this in fairly heavy and I wanna be very careful the way that I'm putting it right next to the hair. So I just wanna take my time around the hair Remember, we've already outlined the hair, so if we can avoid having to go back in and touch that up, that'd be great. And we could have done this before we outlined the hair. Remember that when you're doing yours. Put your halo in first. Come back and outline the hair. with this hair band and what I did was I I actually came in and I took a little bit of naphthol red light which is this color right here and I uh, added just a tiny bit of the Indian red oxide to it to darken it down a tiny bit then I went back with the original naphthol red light and put a little bit of unbleached titanium and I kind of got this little pinkish color and now I put a little bit more white in, unbleached titanium in. And then I'm going to go in and just make those highlights across 
the headband. You can see there's just a line right across the headband and then we just have some highlights coming down on top of it. So let's just, let's come in here and see. I could have used a smaller brush, but you know me. <clears throat> I'm going to wipe off a lot of that because I don't want a whole lot of that pink color. And then I'm just going to come down like that. And it just appears as some highlighting. Okay. Then I'll come in and I'll take uh, the Indian Red Oxide and re-establish re those uh, lines. I'm talking about these lines and outline it. So I'll take my liner brush. Remove this Indian Red Oxide. Just want enough to outline the headband. And you can see on the inside, there's like a little, that's, that's just like a little tiny line inside here. So... I'm going to pick up a little bit of that darker color because I think that needs to be darker. I don't think that's dark enough for an outline. I have to wait till that dries. Oh, I like that darker outline better. Here we go. And that was the brown earth and a touch of black that I had used earlier. I just picked it up off my plate. And it would have looked nicer, I think, if I had let it dry. So you let yours dry and you do it right. Don't do it the way I showed you. You do it correctly, okay? All right. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to leave the halo like that. I don't think I want another coat. I kind of like it like that, but I am going to put a red halo line around the outside here. And that is, I can do this by hand, which I will probably do, or I can do it with 
the compass with the ruling pen attachment on the compass. Um, but I think I'm going to go in and just uh, do that by hand. And you can certainly, I'm not the boss of you, so you can certainly do it however you want. And I will use my liner brush for that. So I can go back and do this a couple of times until I get it uh, the color and the, the uh, thickness that I want. And I think it's, it's fairly close. I'll go in and touch up small areas. You can see where. It's pretty good. And I think I'm happy with that. I think I am going to touch up a few of these letters over here. And I'm going to do it upside down. Because I definitely do not want to mess up that halo. I think I have it pretty much where I want it. Okay, there's a little bit of pencil lead or uh, tracing paper outline there. Once this dries, I can actually go in with a kneaded eraser and just pull that up. That does not have to stay there. <clears throat> Our border is going to be Indian Red Oxide. And we're going to put that on with our largest brush. And it's just going to be a very small, it's a quarter of an inch. If you want to tape it off, you can tape it off. Or you can just apply it the way I'm going to, which is going to be just using my brush and my finger as a guide. So 
I'm going to mix this Indian Red Oxide up. And we might, I might have to get some more, but we'll start with this. It's a nice amount. There's the first coat then of the border. I'll go in and I'll make this darker. And once that's done, we're finished. All we then need to do will be to varnish um, and sand and then finish our icon. And you know what? I was going to put um, little ribbons from her headband. And I didn't do it, and I had so much trouble with the color, honestly, I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, but if you pick a color, let's say you wanted to mirror this blue, or if you wanted to make it a bright red, uh, you could use brown matter uh, and make a red headband, and then you could just put your own um, little ribbons in at the end. Well, we are finished. As you can see, we've got the border in and the guardian angel, the words uh, lettering is done. The halo is done. We've got everything outlined. Uh, she was a joy to do. And again, I wanted to thank uh, Jody Cole, uh, who created this design and with permission allowed me to use it on my YouTube channel to show you how to write guardian angel.